Hello and welcome to my channel. I want today to do some crafting, some ATCs. But first off, I want to show you this lovely card and ATC that I received in my swap from the from Willie Steph's ATC swap. And this was made by the lovely Claire Cartwright here on YouTube. Now, I've noticed Claire has a video on showing exactly how she made this lovely card so I'll link that video down below and you can pop over and see it's a lovely colourful card she's used stencils and, and all her spare papers making it really really pretty and the matching ATC with the She's used floral stencils instead of butterflies, but she's toned in with the the stripes, so it matches really well. So thank you very much, Claire. I love it. And uh, I've got some crafty news to tell you. Uh, so I thought I would finish off some of the ATCs that I've been making while I, while I give you the crafty news for this week. So I'm just going to... Put a wee board around this. I've already made a lot of backgrounds with my jelly prints. Um, so I'm just doing a wee stitched border around this one. And I want to tell you about a challenge with a difference that uh, Kate Fletcher's doing at the moment. And... Um, what she wants you to do is create an ATC, any style you want, um, and send it to her. And I think it was by the end of November, and then she's going to have December off. And then in January, she's going to pick out the from a bowl. All, uh, all the ATCs are going in a bowl. And uh, she's going to pick one out. I think it's once a month or something. So it's a it's a giveaway, a giveaway, and she's going to send send out happy mail. So this giveaway, you're guaranteed to win something at some point. You just don't know when, and you don't know what. <laughs> so she's going to send lots of happy mail out. You know, throughout next year. So if you want to be included in that, uh, I'll link her channel, uh, her video to that particular challenge down below, and you can join in, make her an ATC of your choice, or go with her choice. She she's very cute in her her makes. It's up to yourself. She doesn't mind either way. So I'm putting this rain, rainbow power embellishment on here. You see, I've I've stamped a sun at the top and I put a yellow jewel in on it. And this rainbow power, I got this. It's a kind of rubber embellishment, and I got that off of a hand sanitizer bottle from a uh, from B and M. They've got several different hand sanitizers and lots of nice ones coming up to Christmas. And I've stamped out Shine Bright and I'm just cut them out, stamped them out onto bits of scrap jelly print and there you go that's my first one which is called shine bright the sunshine and the the rainbow now there's a slime embellishment that you could get you could take off the the gel or there's polar bear for christmas and there's a I think it's a penguin as well, and there's snowman, a eh, not not snowman, the eh, snowflakes. I think I've seen. So 
they're really good and it is actually a nice gel it actually smells a lot nicer than a lot of the alcohol gels it's got a kind of strawberry scent to it and you can also hang them onto your handbag so I'm just going I'm just going round this next jelly print with a stitched border again with a just a black pen so rem remember to go over and check out Kate Fletcher's cards by Kate Fletcher and see if you have an interest in joining in there, I've also got news of another giveaway and this other giveaway is Sam the Scottish Crafter now Sam is doing a Christmas giveaway and it closes at 12pm that's UK time at uh, and it closes 12pm on the 30th. So I think that's Saturday, is that right? This Saturday coming. So, and what Sam wants you to do... She, you must be over 18, which is YouTube rules. And it, you must be a subscriber, but you must be a known subscriber to her. So somebody that's commented on her channel before to be entered into this giveaway so one entry is just put enter me on on the giveaway video which i'm going to link down below and if if you have a youtube channel you can gain another five entries and get five entries into Sam's giveaway uh, you all you have to do is do a VR for her so it's UK only and no sorry it's not UK only it's uh, a prize bundle of crafty things she's got ribbons bows kanban crafts and Insert stickers, gems, A4, paper pack for for the UK, and if you're a international, she, uh, you can win fifteen pound into your PayPal. So, so that's that's an easy, that's easy to do. If you're not on YouTube, you can still enter. Just put enter me on a video as long as you're a known subscriber to it. And if you're YouTube, if you're a YouTuber, you can do a VR for an extra five. So as you see, I've got this jelly print and I've put a stitched border around the edge and I've put a stitched border around the edge of this sentiment which is again shine bright i got this shine bright stamp and a set that a set of stamps that i got from uh, wendy laurie for my birthday so i'm just using these wee these wee flowers this is part of the set that I bought a on a recent D stash sale. Um, I think it was Crafty Mammer. I uh, it's Crafty Mammer D stash sale that I got this set of flowers from. So I'm just putting. I cut these flowers out of a uh, painted paper. The jelly prints that I've got a that I'd cut that I'd cut and they, they didn't fit the size in ATC so I just kept them for putting into uh, 
flowers and stuff like that. Oh, I think that will do that one. Three wee flowers, shine bright, and it's kind of mustard coloured jelly print with some red and orange. And then I've got this mixed coloured background. I had used kind of neon pink, yellow, neon pink, yellow and blue. But there's a bit of green in it where the, the yellow and blue have mixed together. And um, again, I'm just going to do a wee border around the outside. If you draw your eye, I I like doing these borders now. I I got the idea of that to, from Shiny Silver Treasures. Um. So, and speaking of Shiny Silver Treasures, um, that's the lovely Dawn here on YouTube. She's got a. Facebook group as well and on her Facebook group the other week there she had advertised for design team members and I had a, I'd entered some of my work into it and I was delighted to get a place on her design team so that's exciting <laughs> and I've had a, sh a quick peek, but I can't tell you what it is. So her, pr her products is going live on the 15th of January. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting my design team products through next week. So I can, I've got plenty of time to think of some projects to do. So... This would be my first design team project. Uh, so I'm really pleased. And so that's, I've got, oh dear, <laughs> bright shine. No, that's not right. <laughs> shine bright is better. Wasn't watching what I was doing there. <laughs> Alright. That's better shine bright. Don't know if you're picking that up. Um and I'm going to do the kind of plainer pink flowers on this one. So there's there's lots of challenges looking for ATCs at the moment. I've still to send away an ATC to Andrea Turner. Um, I've sent my ATC to Mel from Melis Makes. That was part of her giveaway. Uh, and I'm needing to send my Willie Steph's ATC swaps away. So there we go. I've got... Ah, I meant to look out some gems. I might put some gems in the middle of the flowers if I can find decent ones. Uh, yeah. One last one. I've used the Harlequin diamond shaped um, mask that I got from a stall in the SECC last week when I was in at the craft show. So I used that on the jelly print. And some just some orange paints with, with a touch of pink here. And it's going into brown as well at the bottom. That's the beauty of the jelly prints. You never quite know what you're going to get. And if you try and replicate the 
same thing twice. <laughs> it's very, very hard. <laughs> uh, but I really, really do enjoy jelly printing and different paint, paint effects. There we go, we've got another stitched board around this one and I seem to have lost my shine <laughs> so I'll just put bright on and if I can find my shine yeah, I'll put shine up the top there and I'm going to use I'm going to use these multicoloured flower ones that I've punched out of the scrap jelly print paper. Um, put this one up here, I think. And I'm looking for a wee one. Just uh, maybe try and bring this down a bit if it's, it's not stuck on properly. Yeah. Maybe add it there, I think. Right. So what, what I'm going to do is look for some uh, some gems, oh, sticky fingers, I've just pulled that off, <laughs> put some gems in the middle maybe. Uh, that's, that's the three ones that I've made, well finished off in camera and that's the fourth one. And I'll just give you a quick flick through of the, the other backgrounds that I made, the jelly prints. I've got that very colourful one, another kind of harlequin one. This is one of the, either a third or a fourth pull of the harlequin. And I've got brown with a kind of hexagon, kind of beehive style. A stencil brown and orange don't think the my camera's quite picking up the the exact colours of these don't think I think they're brighter to the eye than what you see in the camera another orange and brown one like this one the kind of mustard with the red with the, with the kind of beehive pattern. Yeah, kind of brown white one. It's kind of plainish brown and orangey one. Kind of rainbow effective one. Another one of those ones. And the same stencil in orange and white. It's a kind of mop-up one. And the multicoloured one there. And the kind of bee comb, honeycomb one. And the kind of brown effect. Nice use of the stencil there. Uh, some pinkish one and another yellowish one. So that's my jelly prints and a... I'll think of something different to to make with these. So if you enjoyed my video, please give it a like and let me know which of my ATCs that you like best. Remember to go across to Claire Cartwright to check out how she made this lovely set of ATC and card. Uh, remember to join in with Sam's giveaway and also join in with 
keep Fletcher's giveaway. So I shall see you next time. I don't know when that will be, but pretty soon, I hope. And I'll see you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>